Good morning, everybody. Welcome along to Thursday's show. We've lots on the way between now and 10 o'clock. We're going to be reviewing the latest cinema releases, including, you haven't seen either of the first ones. Oh, these, the new spider man The new... It's time now to take a look at this morning's paper, starting with the Irish Times. Its headline, Enfet to... Con and Fed are due to meet this morning to consider the current COVID-19 situation. So join us with that story and everything else. We're delighted to say Virgin Media News correspondent Zara King is with us. Hey, to get a, yeah. Gavin also got in contact That's with me. That's like my text the WhatsApp group. I was like, well, everyone please tell him we're in stuff. <laughs> okay, I could do it. We change pronunciations all the time. To anyone who's still holding out with the NFET, I'm with you, hold no, strong. No, we'll no, be fine. no, no, no. Today, this we're hearing the number 20,000, you know, cases could soar to yeah. 20,000. That is worst case projections. We need to remember that it, we're hearing these numbers yeah. and they're giving us a worst case scenario all the time. People are talking about drugs, about boosters, but now I suppose everyone's going to be thinking today about the COVID-19 restrictions. Yeah. And we do have Leo Varadkar, the Taunashta, he was speaking on Pakeni yesterday morning about restrictions. Let's take a quick look. Everyone else is winding down for Christmas and they are sort of amping up, aren't they? And they, they have yeah. said, don't call us, we'll call you. Totally. We know you're there. Yeah. Please don't block up the phone lines. Yeah, totally, totally. There's and be really nice to the person that works in your GP practice, the person who answers the phone because they're having an awful time. People wanting to win it. They yeah. just want, yeah. they want to it's win it. It's unbelievable that they're saying that they, they can't reduce the number of balls in the drum for legal reasons. There you go. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I thought because sure. they put more balls in there, it was going to obviously... But answer, if this is yeah. one, then they could change it so as that they could. But oh, the fact okay, is, right, is that okay. other yeah. people, we have bought into it. Yeah. And so it would be like, well, ha this person's one, it's 36, whereas when I did it, it was 47. Yeah. There would yeah, definitely yeah, be yeah, an yeah. issue there. Totally, totally. Um, very quickly, I just want to talk, because this is everywhere. And of course, I'm like a hawk with it. Oh, I'm a crumb. Uh, um, <laughs> no, Ben <laughs> oh, Affleck's <laughs> back tattoo. No, Ben Affleck was oh, on the Howard gosh. Stern show. Yeah. And he came out with this one line that said, and we know he's got issues with addiction but it would yeah. I would probably still be drinking if he stayed married to his ex-wife Jennifer Garner I mean. the woman Welcome back. Now, the Christmas holidays are a time for celebration. We all know that. But also, generosity is at the core. And one selfless organisation who provide a smile and a hot meal for people less fortunate is Little Flower Penny Dinners in Dublin. And we're joined now by Ruth Harkness, General Manager, to tell us... From all walks of life, because it's not just, you know, homeless people. I'm sure that there are people who were... ...job you know, and completely dependent on services like ours. Wow. Who are afraid to leave their house. Yeah. And you're having to get food delivered to their houses as well. Exactly. Happy Christmas. And Happy you. Happy Christmas, yes. <laughs> now, coming up, Neo is back. We're taking a look at the latest instalment in the Matrix series right after this break. So where's Spider-Man? He's there. <laughs> he just saw it. He hasn't watched either outfit. He, he wears it in the film. He oh, was wearing right. it okay. in that thing. Did was you not it? see? That's, that's just mad. He, um, he this, had it on, though. This. Did you not see? Anyway, let's move okay, on. Right, okay, right, <laughs> okay. Spoiler for anybody. I'm not going to say mm. whether it did or didn't happen, but you can look. For two hours? It's about 2.38. It's fine. You don't but, notice it. Like, okay. you totally don't notice it. Like. So what's, what's this about? Obviously, tugs. Oh, yeah, really, really yeah. tugs, yeah. It, um, Olivia Colman plays this... Uh, it's cracker joke, I believe. Oh, no, I'm, got, I'm going. Go on, give us I'm a quickie. Right, really, quickly. really quickly. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Claus looks... I think we got that one on Monday. Okay, we've got so, plenty more coming up someone, on Ireland. Um, someone save us from that it's one. It's rain, because he thinks it's rain, dear. Brian Lloyd for entertainment.ie. Thank you, Thank as you. always. Two, four out of five. See you in a few minutes. Now, in case you didn't know, Christmas is just days away and we're all looking forward to spending time with family, swapping gifts and the festive feast. Of course. Folklorist Michael Fortune joins us now. Christmas traditions. Good morning, morning. Michael. It's lovely to have you here. Thanks a million for having me on. So, come here. What Christmas customs are part of our heritage that we would still be celebrating today? Come to the year. Kind of in certain parts of the country then that people do, just even in Ireland alone, do differently. Yeah, there are. It's funny now because I was talking to one of you. The German tradition of bringing trees into the yeah. house. It's gone all over the world. It nearly hit the floor. I just love proper Irish dressers. I Look. just, I'm fascinated by them. My grandmother's one is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I do. Oh, <laughs> You're always sneaking uh, Now Christmas is a time for loved ones to come together, but some families that only leads to drama and tension. Here to offer advice on how to keep Christmas gatherings conflict-free is clinical psychologist Dr. Maddie Coyne. It's lovely to have you. If there is a family member that you know that you just butt heads with and you're going to be coming together, do you advise staying away from the booze to just try and that I have noticed as, you know, an unmarried person, and that is when people get married, 
Oh, yeah. And when they have kids, it's more fraught the closer we get to Christmas Day. And this is for people who are co-parenting, who are separated. Yeah. And it, you mentioned it has to be quite business-like. An aw business -like, an awful lot of times solicitors are involved about mm. this as well. It can get... Right. Can I just finally ask you as well about people put themselves under a huge amount of pressure if they are hosting for Christmas, that their mental health, I'm sure, struggles, you know, with the anxiety of the whole thing. Is there any tips you have for people who might be just get a bit overwhelmed by the whole situation? Yeah. I think Christmas, Chris, maybe, <laughs> that don't make us feel that uh. way, but it's balancing that together, and that's really important. Self-compassion is the most important thing. And it really is. I'm not, I am, I know I'm looking at you like this, but it is so important, especially at a time that just, it's very tough. That just sometimes to take a bit of time out. Tough. I think a walk, a bit of fresh mm. air, there's nothing. Oh, it's all the time. Oh, yeah, sure. And we've more great prizes to give away for your cracking Christmas now we're having a great old natter here with over 300,000 followers on Instagram and founder of the Queen's Don't Quit community. It's no wonder that Maeve Madden has made fitness her... Uh, I forgot the flowers. That on your wedding day. On my wedding day. <laughs> left the flowers at the hotel. <laughs> so that was quite the commotion. But this is all very recent. It's been absolutely mm -hmm. everywhere. You did. You got the legal business out of the way. You're officially a married woman. Side of things, like I've done your classes online. Yeah. It's it's your business now. It's really yeah. taken off, Maeve. It really has. Go for it. Um, or just don't know what to do. And there's myself and I've got four other trainers. Trainers. So we've got everything from yoga, Pilates, bar ballet. I mean, who are we? Bar I, ballet. And you you always put side by sides up of you now and what you oh, were expected to be. And even yeah. back then you were like, I was too big for a fucking A very simple thing that you do is like, this is how I wake up. This is me before lunch. This is me after lunch. This is me when I have my period. This is me pre period. Yeah. Like All just doing things. pictures beside yourself so that women realize, oh my goodness, when you eat something, you're gonna bloat a little bit, lads. Yeah, no, but, exactly. It's, it's really important. But it is really important. Mm -hmm. And do you think it does like a lot of people be like, oh, well, look, she's made mad and she looks like this. But it's just little body differences that happen throughout the day. Sure, I just know? love that it's planned so much. It's so like, I'm, oh, Lord, this is where my lowest cycle, so I'll take them all now. So I'll yeah, look and exactly. Like, oh, no, it no, is. No, it's very, time. and that is the way a lot. <laughs> He's got a triple crown, lads. He's got won the Six Nations a while a few times, haven't you? I'm sorry, I just didn't expect him to be so uncoordinated. I was sitting there going, are you on Dancing with the Stars? I'm not going to be anymore, that's with for the sure. Stars. Now, we have been inundated with Christmas cracker jokes all morning. That was a beautiful one. Uh, we're going to be revealing the winner very shortly. But first, here's a flavour of what you've been sending in. So, Elton John has bought a trampoline for his pet rabbit. It's a little fit bunny. Oh, I like that. That's, That's good. good. That's good. That is good. Uh, okay, I'll do a uh, Carol Hale from Finglas. What's Piers Morgan's favourite Christmas song? I don't know. I'm walking off on air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl, they that's, all like that that's one. Two good that's ones. Very good. Um, why does Santa have three gardens? Don't know. So, so he can ho ho ho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. We'll take that. Uh, okay. Last one. I really like that one. Uh, hold on. Where? Oh, here. Oh, Mary from Monaghan. Uh, what? Oh no, I've lost that. Hold on. Uh, what do you finish off wrapping your presents with? I don't know. A Tommy bow. Oh, Mary, Thank you old Mary charmer there, Monaghan. Mary and Monaghan. Um, I think now, because it's all to win great prizes uh, with thanks to Virgin. So the time has come to reveal this morning's winner of our Christmas cracker joke. And we are joined now by Jake Lanigan. Hello, Jake. Good morning. Good How are morning, you? Jake. Hey. Boxes left here, so we're left, four. right, and uh, in the oh, four boxes left. Where's the oh, the fourth one's down here. Yep. So you can take charge of the Santa cam. Tell our camera where to point. So uh, choose your Christmas box. Uh, oh, you go. See at the back right where the Christmas tree is. Yeah, that one. That one. This one. Okay. Over here. Over to you. Over okay. to you. Okay. 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 Christmas box. Christmas box. Let's see. I haven't checked any of these. Tommy's the one who knows where this is. So, huge congratulations, Jake. You have won. Well, happy Christmas to Ashlyn and hope you have a great time with Jake and all the family this year. Jake, thanks so much for taking... Oh, thank you brilliant. so, so, so much. And of course, uh, he is winning that prize today, of course, thank you to Virgin Mobile. Absolutely. Hey, well, quite a Christmas for him. Like, yeah, you can see that a lot of people are kind of thinking they're going to have to take it easy with the whole situation, but fair play. Absolutely. It's kind of it's kind of stuff that, you know, we've been talking about it so much. Like, we've cancelled an awful lot of plans. I think a lot of people are, they're choosing what they have to do. Um, now, uh, we've got lots of messages uh, that have come in throughout the morning. There's a few more jokes, by the way.
Um, why do turkeys make good bandmates? Why do turkeys make good bandmates? They always have a set of drumsticks on them. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Go on, give me one more. Um, let me get another one for well, you. Hold I... on. Um, no, we've read all of those. Okay, right. Okay, well, listen, we're also talking about... Oh, you've got one. What's, who is Rudolph's favourite pop star? Don't know. This was sent in by a pile of people. Beyonce. Oh, oh like isn't that a good that one there? Good. I like that I like one. Uh, we were talking as well earlier on about if you want to do something, break up the Christmas tradition, go to the cinema. A lot of people were talking about Spider-Man. They went to see it. So um, we had Brian Lloyd on review. He gave it four out of five stars. John said that he saw the new Spider-Man last night. I think four stars is wrong. Five stars for me. One of the best Marvel movies I've seen, if not the best. Love and that is it. saying a lot, because if it beats Thor Ragnarok, it's doing well. That's the top of the oh, tree. That's the top of the tree. We were talking about Christmas traditions a little bit earlier on as well. And Naomi says, I know when my parents were younger, they both used to keep their holly after Christmas and burn it on Shrove Tuesday. Yes, I remember mm. this. Uh, must be an old custom. Don't know anyone else bar my granny who does it now. But that was definitely something I remember happening in Kerry. Then right. you really? save it. Burn yeah. the holly. Yeah, you burn the holly uh, and use it for Shrove Tuesday. Maggie has said our tradition every year is that our Christmas Eve, we swap presents with our daughter from mum and dad. She calls it a baby present. She's 34. <laughs> <laughs> then Santi comes on Christmas morning and it's as big as when she was a kid. Oh, well absolutely. Done. Listen. I love that. That's I, a good just, one. There's such excitement around it, isn't it? It's incredible to see the different traditions different houses have. Everywhere. You've got to create you go. some of your own. Yeah, right. OK, coming up on Ireland then tomorrow, we'll be finding out about the charity granting life-changing wishes for some very special boys and girls this Christmas. In the kitchen, a festive treat that the whole family can get involved in making. Um, uh, it's chocolate whoopie pies. And I'm going to be having Christmas jumpers all next week. See Are you, you doing it? Have a great day. Bye.